Welcome back, guys, to the Weeps Closet. My name is Neko. I'm Jake. And today we're watching a new show, finally. A new one. It's, it's a new show. What is it called? It's the first show that's come out in over a year. Besides all the other ones that we haven't watched. I know, Star right? Wars, Visions. Oh, Vision. Yeah. See, you were telling me about Vision earlier, and I, honestly, I was thinking about Vision from Avengers, but I'm like, we already mm -hmm. have one Division. Why would we have another one? So it caught me by surprise. I didn't even know this was coming out at all. Mm -hmm. um, I knew it was coming out. I just didn't know when. I didn't even know it was on Disney+. Plus. I thought it was going to be like a... It, like on Funimation or something like that because it's actually done I think by the people that did Kill a Kill it's an anthology um, so it could be a bunch of different studios cool. I don't know so it's a bunch of like spinoff stories within their themselves separate stories uh, and yeah that's really all I know about it but it is technically like anime Star Wars like that, that's gonna be pretty cool because uh, I did say earlier that I did watch a little bit of a uh, the Clone Wars, I did like what I watched. I just didn't sit myself and actually watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, I did like seeing a little bit more of Anakin before he went into the uh, dark side as Darth Vader. You know, so that's, that was pretty nice to watch. So I'm wondering what this is going to be. If it's if this is a post everything, like is, it, is this while Rey is still around or is this before is this the mandalorian side story like i don't know i'm gonna guess they don't even like get into that like it's just star wars at a point in time where they only have ships wait do you mean like boat ships i was thinking more of like nacho cheese chips but i mean that oh. works but with that said guys go follow us on twitter Catch us in Patreon and help us over there. Support us if you like our, our stuff. Yeah, we're going to do uncuts for this on the Patreon. Yeah. So be sure to check that out if you want to, you know, watch along. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually excited. I don't know what this is going to be about, so I'm ready to start. Are you? Let's do this. All righty. I, I lost the mouse. Okay, here we go. Three, two, go. Lucas Fins. I believe that's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> Lucas Films. Lucas Films. No, wait, no, don't skip the intro. Come on now. Visions. The duel. Oh, yeah, already like right off the bat, the music is not oh, your average Star Wars music. I was expecting warp, warp speed, so you'll see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Spaceballs? No, I haven't. No, oh my god, we might need to do a reaction on that movie. It's fucking great. Okay, so this is a Kurosawa movie, actually. This what? is already amazing. Jedi? What? What? It's so funny that we were. Beep. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's got a little a straw, straw hat. hat on. I love that. <laughs> it's funny that we were not not arguing. We were like debating about Ghost of Tsushima and if it's better to play in this filter or the like uh, color. Yeah, yeah. And it's so great that they're actually like that they turn this into like a Kurosawa like inspired thing. Yeah. I don't understand the, uh, like, far back in the years, but at the same time, extremely ahead. Yeah. Makes no sense. Star Wars culture just, you gotta take it at face value. Yeah. There's a billion planets, and they're all progressing in technology at their own rate. I don't know. It's like they got AC on that machine, but they don't have AC. <laughs> like <laughs> fans on their house. Yeah, you cannot look at Star Wars like that. Even back to like Episode Four, it's just so. Like they they have like neon lights on the straw houses, you know. Yeah. It's not safe. We should go inside. your goods time for you to pay your taxes i don't want to read into this too much but it looks like they have new stormtrooper helmets and clone helmets as well so this could be and you've taken enough. like i don't know see because the bottom of his helmet does that yeah that new era stormtrooper thing yeah He looks like R2-D2, but at the same time, not too sure since the color scheme. It's definitely an R unit, mm -hmm. but with the straw hat. Jesus. 
Oh, oh wow. I do like the sound design. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. It's either a Sith or an Inquisitor. I was going to go with Sith, but it doesn't, doesn't ring a bell, so I wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's like the umbrella, but with lightsabers. I just realized yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I, I loved it. Looks pretty sick. This is like, um, oh man, oh wow, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, freaking Mary Poppins on this bitch. See, these guys are a little bit smarter than most grunts. Ooh. Ooh. The thing is that it didn't even pierce her with a uh, person with the lightsaber itself. Yeah. So it must have been painful, like going in. If this is all hand drawn, I'm gonna lose my mind. But there's no way that it is. It looks like it, but I really doubt. Look like one of the villagers. That's pretty cool. Oh, mm, nice. So you're a Jedi. But he's neither, neither Jedi nor Sith. I wonder if it's uh, one of the like yellow sabers or the gray sabers. Oh, none of the above. Your lightsaber blade is red. Unfortunately. Mm, well, that's pretty cool. That's some serious hair. <laughs> Sand people. Wasn't that the guy from the first one? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, Guado or whatever his yeah, name was. Yeah, the I guy with the races. Yeah. Can't remember this. Species. Ooh. I have the high ground, and again. No, but what I was going to say is that this is very much like Yojimbo. Mm -hmm. And then it takes place in one town. But it looks like they're going for a ride now. The village is under our control. We have the chief and his guards have surrendered. Drop your weapon. That's so weird that he puts it away like a sword. Yeah. I mean, mean she, she technically did the same with the parasol. That's, yeah. Does that mean it's always lit? I told you to throw down your weapon. Don't the lives of the women and children of the village matter to you? Not at all. <laughs> oh, man, I, I just came here, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I'm looking it. He has his troll hat. My worst one. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh wow, he, he pulled the uh, an Iron Man right there. Yeah. You can pull your lightsaber back out, dude. See, I honestly wonder why would it matter that there's water? Because I, I want to say that that burns so bright that it would just burn the water that's going through it. The lightsaber? Yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe she wanted a more clear shot at the guy. I owe you something extra. Here. For your troubles. Who 
Oh, he's collecting those things. So it begs to uh, begs the question: that, like, is is he really a, a, a Sith, Sith no, or not? I don't think so. But around this era, I bet it was a lot harder to come across blue and green colored copper crystals because, like, after. After the Clone Wars, it was just Inquisitors and Sith. So just a bunch of red lightsabers. It throws me off because it's supposed to be whoever is crafting the crystal, crafting this blade or whatever, mm -hmm. that gives off the color of the blade. Unless you're a, a knight. Uh, I forgot the name of the Temple of the Knights. that They're just yellow because they're there to maintain peace. Gray doesn't go for either sides either. So there's gray lightsabers and there's uh, yellow lightsabers. Yeah, I know in the Knights of the Old Republic, which they're remaking, um, in that game, you would go through like this big test and it's an RPG. So like, however you take the test is what your color is. Yeah. And I actually got yellow mm. um, out of the three. And yeah, like you said, like it's not based on rank. It's more based on like who you are affinity like yeah who you are as, as a jedi um and that's sort of why that i i don't know why he's collecting the red ones probably because like i said they're more common yeah more, um, again he's just it, it just seems like he's just looking for trouble and obviously the people that are causing it are gonna be the siths or mm. yeah yeah so like he's probably more likely to come across a Sith than anything else, and that's why he has so many. And if he's trying to stop them, then of course he does. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious as to, I'm, and I'm, we're gonna see it in the course of the next eight episodes, I guess, as to what is his motivation. He already seemed to have like eight of them. Well, I think each, like that's it. Like we're done with these set of characters and we're moving on to like a new story. Like it's, mm. a, it's an anthology. So each episode is gonna be its own little thing. Okay. Will, like, will there be a second part of that? I have no idea. I mean, um, yeah, the other ones see uh, had Jabba the Hutt on mm -hmm. the on the screen, so it's gonna be more of that uh, scenes. Um, it's curious. I'm not I'm not big on episodics because uh, you know usually you want to have like a coherent story on the background. It's kind of like yeah. making sense unless all of these stories co uh, not coexist, but at the same time, yeah, like they do merge up at one point. I th I thought it was good. It's sort of like the anime What If for Star Wars now. Yeah, I actually haven't even watched the What If so Yeah, too. me neither. So yeah, I thought that was good. I, I I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Uh, cannot wait again. Ja the Jabba the Hot Air um, things in the old movies were pretty interesting to me. I liked it a lot. That's whenever mm -hmm. Han got uh, solidified. So I, want, I wonder if it's during the same time period or it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, could be could be about Jabba the Hutt's son. Because I remember his son played a part in one of the Clone Wars. Mm. Uh, some of the Clone Wars stuff. Because um, Jabba the Hutt died in episode 6. Mm. Or it could just be about a completely different Hutt family altogether. I have no idea. Well, guys, I hope you like that. Uh, do consider uh, consider checking out our Patreon. Uh, follow us on Twitter. I'm going to say it again. And we'll see you in the next one. All right. Goodbye, fellas. Hope you guys enjoyed another Weeps Closet reaction. A special thanks to our Patreons. We appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.